you kids from Louisiana and the game of football. It is a pure love affair. It's not just a way out. You love the game. Absolutely. Next on NFL Game Pass Film Session. When you didn't get it, you I got that. Then you go. You yeah. just go. Yeah. Brian Baldinger and Ron Jaworski sit down with Browns wide receiver Jarvis Landry. Yeah. I feel like when I get in situations where it's a one-on-one -on -one matchup, mm -hmm. I like me every yeah. time. Landry talks about a former receiver who helped elevate his game to a Pro Bowl level. Then when I got to Miami, um, I'm, I met a guy you guys probably know, Chad Ochoacenco. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I'm always open. It's a new year, but the same old you know, he just kind of started telling me how I should hone in on, on just, you know, the top of my routes and changing angles and mm -hmm. things like that. The guys break down different ways the Browns got their wide out the football. There's a lot of elements to play. I mean, you got the motion, you've got fake toss, and then the underneath handoff. I mean, they have no idea what's going on. You got to be smiling right about now. No, absolutely. And how he got on the same page with rookie quarterback Baker Mayfield. I am blown away how you and Baker Mayfield got such great chemistry in such a short time. It just doesn't happen. All right, Baldy, we got our guy, man. Jarvis juice. Landry, what do you call him? Juice. Juice, juice. Man, he brings the juice. Brings the juice. Yeah. Gotta bless him. He gives us his gifts for a reason. The bless him. Bless him then. Every DB, every defense, bless him. You kids from Louisiana in the game of football, it is a pure love affair. Yeah. Now, you all start young and you're playing in the streets, in the school, or whatever it is. It is, it's not just a way out. It's you love the game. Absolutely. I mean, it's it's probably one of the first sports that we pick up anyway in Louisiana, you know, as a religion. You know, on Fridays, you know, the town shuts down in Letcher and we play high school football. Yeah. Then everybody drive up to Baton Rouge and yeah. watch college football. Hey, Juice, we, hey. we, we comb everything here. We're going to start with identifying what a number one receiver does. I feel like when I get in situations where it's a one-on-one -on -one matchup, I like me every yeah. time, yeah. you know? And I want six back there to have to trust in me to like me too, yeah. you know? Now, when there are situations where I'm doubled or bracketed and things like that, you know, you got to do what you got to do, right. you Go know? somewhere else. Yeah. Obviously, I want the, the best for the play, but if it's man-to-man, -man, let me earn the money you gave me. So we've got a couple plays here where you're the number one. You're out of the backfield here, and this is for you. For us, it was just simple. We knew in third and short situations, yep. Oakland liked to play man. We tried to get the pick with Callaway right here. Yep. To make him bubble over the top. That's all you need. That's it, you know, and from there, it's just one-on-one. -on -one. Jarvis Landry winds up in the backfield. They had it covered. One foot in the ground. Oh. I'm going forward, you can't tackle me, first down. That's like to be in the punt returner right there. That's pretty much how the play was designed when we talked about it, you know, getting the ball in my hands and being the punt returner. This is what Jarvis Landry brings. It's that sudden burst of excitement. The way he works in space is awesome to watch. Juice, do, do you like being the where's Waldo, like lining up in different positions so they can't zero in yeah. where you are? I love it, I love it. You know, it, it creates an advantage for us and a disadvantage for them because it's things that they haven't seen or practiced before. You can do the same thing and leak you right through the backfield here. I mean, we've seen, this is a concept. I see the Chargers doing it with Melvin Gordon with different backs against man coverage. You're right. just trying to run interference. Right. It's a, actually the same formation, same type of play that we ran against Oakland. When you hear the play called, like you kind of, like, here we go. Yeah. We got this. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I feel like that about every play. <laughs> <laughs> That's how you get 400 catches. Before. Hell yeah. <laughs> Against Oakland, I just ran the wheel out mm -hmm. the backfield. So this time I faked the wheel. Yep. And then came back, backside. Don't space. Just... We're in space, in third and short. Make yep. it look easy. That's it. It's an easy game, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Jarvis, you come to the NFL mm -hmm. and you've got the NFL record. I mean, 400 catches yeah. in the first four years. 
the volume. Jarvis Landry, a catch machine. Downfield, back in the end zone, Landry, touchdown! And the hits that you're willing to take, because you can't just go out there and catch 400 balls and not get tattooed. I almost feel like when they hit you, the harder they hit you, the quicker you get up. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. That's that's part of the plan, yeah. you know? Just a mental game. It's a psychology. Game. That's it. That's it. Even if you're hurt, don't yeah. let them know that. Don't let them know. Don't let them know. But you don't get hurt. You've started 80 straight games, Charles. Yeah, yeah, don't yeah. know about Right here, no. I'm not cheating. <laughs> but, it is, but it is a testament yeah. to, I mean, obviously not every week you're feeling great and you've got your bumps and all the other things that happen playing the position. But it's just that important to make sure you're lining up every week. Absolutely. If you're not hurt, like if your hamstring ain't falling off the bone, your leg ain't broke, I don't know, like you should be practicing. Like straight up. Like that is weakness and that is contagious. And that ain't gonna be in this room, bro. Been here in the past and that's why the past has been like it is, bro. That is over with here, bro. If you can practice, practice. I remember watching, you know, Monday Night Football, um, Thursday Night Football, and, you know, seeing guys that have started 250 snaps, never missed a game, never missed a practice. And that was, like, one of those things that I strive for, like I saw for myself when I absolutely made it to the NFL, that I want to be one of those guys when Thursday Night Football comes on or Monday Night Football comes on. He has never missed a game. He's played... 10,000 snaps like Joe yeah. Thomas, yeah. like, you know, yeah. like, yeah. you know, like, no, yeah. I mean, yeah. we, we had Joe yeah. in here. I always believed availability was as important as ability. That's how you develop that kind of chemistry, that kind of feeling, you know, with your quarterbacks, uh, whoever it may be. Shotgun snap. Here's Mayfield back, looking, throwing. He's got his man down at the seven yard line. That's Landry. You've made a living over the middle, making catches. A lot of people aren't really in love with doing. And you know over the middle right now that Middleton is going to be driving on this ball. You know you're going to get whacked. But I almost feel like you live for this. Yeah. Like you know how to protect yourself. Like he comes and he, you know you're getting hit. But yeah. you bounce right up. Yeah. I mean the catch is more important. Like Middleton's coming and he's trying to put his hat right on the ball. Yeah. But your ability is to tuck that ball right now. Put it, strap it to your body as soon as it touches your hands. Like it's an instinct. Yeah. I mean, just knowing I'm gonna get hit. <laughs> just knowing I'm gonna get hit is enough, you know. You know, when he throws the ball, I'm still behind the linebacker yep. that's yeah. buzzing out. He's you gonna know, throw so. you open right here. Yeah, exactly. You know, and put it on my body, not lead me too far. You know, this is what amazed me in watching Baker as the season went on, his willingness to pull the trigger into this tight coverage and trusting you. Absolutely. And that's what it comes down to. He's going to trust mm. you're going to snap your head around it, locate that ball, and you're going to get whacked, and you're going to hold on to it. You know, when he sees you making those tough catches and putting your body on the line, um, I think the trust, you know, only gets better from that point. I, I am blown away how you and Baker Mayfield got such great chemistry in such a short time. It just doesn't happen. How did it happen so quickly for you guys? Well, he's a gamer. You know, he, he finds ways in game to, you know, make throws that he don't practice. What's that? Baker getting rushed. Baker rolls right, fires, Higgins up, caught in in the end zone! Ah! Touchdown! Ah! Ah! Come on, baby! Come on, baby! Come on! Come on! He will get in the huddle sometimes, and he's just, you know, he called the play, and he'd be like, hey, do that thing. And, <laughs> you know, <laughs> and, and, and... It's that simple. Yeah. Hey, do, hey, do that yeah, thing. Do that thing, <laughs> you know? Hey, stay outside. Stay outside if you beat him. He's got the snap. Looks right. Looks right. Throwing down the sideline, and it's caught over on the far right sideline. What a play! Spectacular catch. Yeah, that's a great throw. Spectacular throw. Situation. You're going to get man. Third and one. So, I mean, it was this, and this was a simple concept. Just uh, de slant. Man coverage, slant flat. I mean, yep. I just wheeled it up and just being on the same page, trust. When you didn't get it, you I got that. Then you go. You yep. just go. Yeah. 
just going to throw it. Pitch and catch, yeah. Trust it. Well, it's pitch and catch, but I mean, he is yeah. going to turn on you right here. So he's, yeah. you're open. Yeah, absolutely. Back turn. Yep. Wide open. One thing you really notice about Mayfield is it doesn't matter if he's covered, but if he sees the back of your numbers in man coverage, he's going to throw it to your man, and more often than not, it's on the money. I mean, it's hard to believe he was a rookie first time with you and you guys had that communication. The first play that he got in, the, you know, the first, yeah, his yeah, first yeah. pass was, <laughs> was to me. What do, you, what do you remember when he came in the game? I just remember uh, the crowd going crazy. <laughs> they couldn't wait. They couldn't wait. And the crowd reacts <laughs> to the emergence of Baker Mayfield off the bench. That crowd, I'll never forget, it came through the TV, Jarvis. Yeah, it was like, loud. Like, we could all feel it. It was loud. It was loud. He gets us in the huddle, and he's just like, let's go. Let's go. What's the play? Um, just a simple stick concept. Got the slant at the top, yep. the stick at the bottom. Zone coverage? Zone coverage. Just find a zone and set in it. Just trying to get the first pass, trying to get the ball out of his hands quick. The, the backer buzzed out, but he had been through the ball already. Yeah. And the ball literally went right past his head. And that ball had a lot of mustard on it. Well, he completed his first pass as a pro. First down catch. Like, first down right away. And the crowd... Went even you, crazy. It went crazy. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like, it was, hey. it was like they couldn't... Yeah. And it, the team responded right away. Yeah. Right away. And he goes to you. I mean, you're obviously the guy that's going to ignite the offense. Yeah. You know, he's saying, hey, I, I got to get juice to football. Going to get me going. He's my guy. We're going to develop his chemistry. All of a sudden, the place he runs. Yeah. Tonight's the night. The Browns can finally win after 19 efforts where they have gone winless. The Browns can tie if they get the two. Mayfield is in a pistol formation. Now he's running away from center. And the snap goes to Duke Johnson. Then they flip it around. Then they throw it. And Mayfield caught it! It's the Philly special Cleveland style! Is tonight the night? The Browns 21, the Jets 17. Back to pass. Up in the pocket, shooting it long and deep. And it's picked up! They got it! Terrence Mitchell's got it! And it's all over here now! And the drought is over! The Browns are going to win! Do you always try to get two hands on the ball? Yeah. Whenever you can. Whenever I can. Yep. Throws! And Landry caught the ball! What a catch! Running backwards and caught it at his knees. That is not an easy catch. But you know you're going to get whacked here on this one. Yeah. Like, you know. I'm all up as soon as I catch thought? it. I mean, you're a target right there. There's not much you could do except sort catch of catch the ball. Yeah. <laughs> Great leaping catch by Jarvis Landry. He went high to get it. Protect yourself and, yeah. and squeeze the ball. Talk about high punting the football. He did it. Yes, he did. This throw blows jaws away. This yeah. scene <laughs> right here. This is a trust throw. He's going to put it in a spot where only you can catch it. It's going to be d defended, and you just go up and take it away. Yeah. That's trust. The coverage is dictating the throw, mm -hmm. right? With that safety, inside leverage like that, you're kind of fading just a little bit. You're getting yourself just a little bit more room, right? Yeah. By the safety being low, I thought I would run past him, and, you know, and it will be with some air. Once the nickel blitzed, I knew I had an opportunity you're looking back for it. Like yeah. You're looking back pretty early yeah. right here. Yeah. Middleton is playing blind here. You see it, he can't see it. Right. I mean, when I was in college, even my receiver coach, you know, he would tell Mettenberger, Coach Cam Cameron was my OC yep. back then. Yeah. And, you know, he would tell him, you know, if the, the DB's back's turned, he's wide open. Yeah. You know, because they he can't see it. They can't, can't react. It's a snow cone right there. <laughs> Just holding it as tight as I can. <laughs> holding it as tight as I can. You almost expect him to make them every time because he does it so frequently. Beast mode. You swell up. You swell up after those. <laughs> that juice. That's that juice. That's the juice. When you're stationary as a wide receiver, it's, it's, it's a lot easier to time with a quarterback. When you're moving, the timing's always a little bit different. I thought the timing of this route with Baker is just exquisite. You know, it's a double move. These things don't time out as well when you're in motion. 
What are you thinking as you're coming in motion on this play? We wanted to, you know, attempt like we were taking a shot, um, and run a double move, give me the ball early. Mm -hmm. You know, it was, was part of the plan. Freddie's playing that this week. Is this is this a crisp 20 yard comeback to 18? Is it that exact? Yeah. We got what we wanted. We know we, they were going to play zone to mm -hmm. the set. Look when this ball comes out of his hand. Yeah. Your back is still turned. Now you snap it around. That's good coverage. Yeah. But the offense wins because of timing. Is this ball easy to find? Because, like, you're turning around, the ball's in the air. Yeah. I mean, is it easy to find? Not really. We've worked it so many times in practice yeah. that, you know, I was just kind of used to the timing being what it was and seeing it late and catching it on the sideline. This ain't... Probably if you watch the practice clips from this week, it was the same exact. Really? Just wow. like, yeah. So just the like carryover. This. Yeah, absolutely. Is exactly what you absolutely. want. Absolutely. So how many times did you rep this double move against Fuller over here, anticipating the zone cover? Uh, maybe two or three times throughout the week. We did it in Rollins versus there. Um, we saw what it looked like against our own defense, you know, and then we ran it again just to make sure. It was the same thing. Here you go in motion again. Ball's out. Easy. Stealing. Stealing. Seven on seven. Seven yeah. on seven. Yeah. What's impressed me most is you guys just being on the same page timing-wise. What mm -hmm. What's up? From gun, it's a quick three-step drop. He's pulling the trigger. Boom. That ball's halfway to you by the time your head comes around and you're saying, thank you. It's easy. I mean, these are these are some of the routes that when we're in training camp, we just knocked out, knocked out, mm -hmm. knocked out. <coughs> You know, I'm sure there's hard knocks film of uh, us just running this route constantly over and over and over. We're just working on that timing because, you know, if that buzz defender don't get there and they're in three, that's cake all day. They just were playing a zone coverage and it was a soft zone. That's a lot to ask the linebacker to get out there that far in the flat and cover them. I mean, another old cut, it's, just it's, perfect. It's over and over again. I mean, it's over and over again. I mean, it's just a speed out. Yep. DB's not sure. You know, he hesitates for a second. The ball completed. Perfect timing. So you have about six inches of real estate right here. She was like, you come to a like a like a freeze. Yeah. To be able to, you know, because you get a lot of, after the catch right here. You're walking a tightrope. We needed the first down. <laughs> I think it was less than six inches, Bob. <laughs> you're right on the strike. Yeah. But, like, you you got to know that field. You got to know where you're at. Absolutely. Absolutely. And just one more. I, I mean, I think it, I felt him fall, and yeah. I just wanted more. Juice, is there a difference running this route from that tight split as opposed to split out wide? You know what? It almost, it almost makes it easier. You know, we have a couple different adjustments on the outside. Mm -hmm. um, but here, you know, it's all about the release. You know, it's about the angle that you, our departure. You know, and again, that's what we work. But off that same stem, you know, I've, I've ran the bend. Yeah. I've ran the, the out and up, you know. I've ran the end, the dig, the big end, yeah. you know. Well, I know when Todd Haley was here and, you know, I kind of I went to his office and I asked him, you know, what can I do to get better, you know, and he told me perfect this, perfect that stem yeah. okay. um, because I could run all types of routes mm -hmm. from, from that. And make and, everything look the same. And make everything look the same and I'll always get free access. You got a double move going right here. He plays this so well. I knew it when I when I hit the double move at, at the beginning and he didn't take it. Yeah. I knew he was gonna sit. That's kind of like DB 101, you know, when we're talking receivers and, and double moves and stuff. You know, if he once he sees that breakdown, then he knows something else is coming, especially when he's got some cushion to be able to turn and run on a goal. Do you feel him coming over your back shoulder Absolutely. right there? Absolutely. He sits on top of it, but still the timing beats the coverage. Yeah. Just the, the word I've heard through all the years I've been around this league from wide receiver coaches detailing your route. Mm -hmm. And when I watched this route, yeah, he was well covered, but he made the play because the detail of the route was you went and got the ball. Yeah. And I don't know how many times I can show you 100 clips of guys running this route and doing this, mm -hmm. and a DB comes in and knocks the ball down. It's some low post basketball right there. Box yeah. him out. 
and shoe hands. So how much do you work on the detail of the route? That's pretty much all I do off season. I'm working top of routes. <coughs> Started that in, in college and then when I got to Miami, I'm, I met a guy you, you guys probably know. Y'all gotta give me a shot, uh, baby, I, I got you. Chad Ochocinco. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and Yo, yeah, we all <laughs> I'm always open. It's a new year, but the same old <laughs> Just get the 85, baby. You know, he just kind of just started telling me how I should hone in on, on just, you know, the top of my routes and changing angles and things mm -hmm. like that. Just a deep in route and grimes and good coverage. Jarvis Landry makes a tough catch. Once I continue to learn that and study him and study, you know, obviously all these great receivers that's played before me, it's about angles. Hey, next time we get that two-man look, I'm just gonna push at him. I'm like running like a slant. Just throw that hook. Uh, on top. We got two man. Yeah. He's gonna win right now. Yeah, I'm just gonna push up to him. And then go in. Baker waits and takes the snap. A pump fake. He's got to get out of there. He rolls left. Away from Geno Atkins. Floats the ball down the sideline. And it's caught by Landry. There's just something things about this kid. When he starts moving, it's just Baker time. He never seems to drop his eyes. They all stay downfield. Absolutely. I, I kind of think that you always have to be alive with this guy. Like, he can find you anywhere. Yeah. Juice, do you have scramble rules? Get to different levels, find grass. Is there any, anything in your mind where you know exactly what you're doing when Baker breaks the pocket? Yeah, absolutely. And um, usually on either Fridays or Saturdays, um, we, we work scramble drill um, after practice. And obviously, it's different levels. One guy high, he come back. You know, another guy go high. Everybody get on different Spread levels. Spread the field. Spread the field out. So this scramble drill, like he's got quick pressure coming off the edge. He feels it. Stay open, yep. you know. Find grass. That's it. That's it. He'll find you. Baker Mayfield creating a second opportunity play for his receiver. This is another type of scramble drill. Like he's gonna. It's part of our scramble drill, right here. That's it. Yeah, go deep. Here's Mayfield back, looking, settles up in the pocket, spins, spins again, looking. Once he puts his hands up, yeah, that's he telling everybody he going deep. So now we all just kind of play off the deep man. So he's got his hand up. Yep. So he's going deep, so you're coming, you're coming back. Yep. So you got low, intermediate, and high. So you, yeah, you got layered. Still looking, firing. He's got a man open. It's caught. Landry came back to him. Like this. <laughs> this is Houdini for yeah, this Baker, is... yeah. And he's he's pointing to you right here. Yeah. way you do it. That's the scramble drill. You're going to give it to Landry. Jarvis Landry has a first down. Landry's still going. Look at those moves. Chased by six Panthers and finally tackled at the four. The hell with receiver stuff, man. This is my favorite juice Jarvis Landry play. This play the whole design was hadn't worked all week. <laughs> no, that's nobody bit on hadn't worked all week. Like whoever's whoever's playing scout team Keekly, he didn't bite. Hadn't worked all week. How many times did you did you rep this out? Well, it was in the plan for about three weeks, okay. and it hadn't worked this this week right here. We, you know, he was like, "I'm gonna call it. I'm just gonna put it out there. I'm gonna call it. If it works, it works. If it doesn't, it doesn't." And we practiced it a couple more days, and defense was just eating it up, eating it up. Yeah. If you're a defender, the eye candy of this play. There's a lot of elements this play. I mean, you got the motion. You've got fake toss. And then the underneath handoff. I mean, they have no idea what's going on. You got to be smiling right about now. No, absolutely. You have two guys come across to the formation in motion. The underneath guy, the second guy you hand off to, and they were just clean sailing. But Tonio's coming around, and he's, like, he's on the safety. Yeah, I mean, in essence, I'm just taking the place of the back. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. And it becomes like a, a power, a lead, or something like that with the puller. Great blocking. Landry is a great open field runner. Just making a couple guys miss. 
man. Got to get them knees up, man. Yeah. Oh, oh, yeah, he shouldn't have got caught there. Right? <sighs> Luke got you. Came back to that same play they used for a three-yard touchdown for their opening touchdown in the game. I scored, actually, um, in the beginning of the game. Mayfield under center, takes Perriman to the left, hands the ball on a sweep. Landry's got it. He's in. Touchdown. What a play. Callaway came to coach, and he was like, if we ran it from the 50, he, go, he would score again. And he called it. This is the second time he called it. Very seldom you're going to ever see a play caller in Freddie Kitchen. He uses the play from the goal line they scored on. Now they use it out in the field. After this game, you tell Freddie, hey, I need a few more of these. Oh, runs absolutely. Man. <laughs> like, so a play like this works. You would think you would double this up, come back to it. But did you come back to this play? We actually did. Yeah. So oh. we came back to it. But when we came back to it, that's when we did the double reverse pass uh. against the Bengals. And I threw the ball to Perriman. Here's Mayfield on a double reverse. Now a triple reverse. Now Landry's looking. He's going to go long and deep for Perriman. He got it! What a throw by Landry! So it was the same play, same concept, but then we did a double reverse pass. We put just put another guy in, like receiving the ball, and then put me on the backside by myself. What a dive from Landry, showing off the left arm, and hits the Bengals with a huge play. What can Cleveland Brown fans look forward to with your new head coach, Freddie Kitchens? Uh, hopefully a lot of what we've seen already, or what they've seen already. You know, I think, like I told you guys, um, when he stepped in, we became, um, I want to say, the top five offense yeah. in the league in red zone scoring. You know, and I, in this league, it's about scoring. Juice, we learned a lot, man. Pleasure. Good things happening in the dog pound. Absolutely. We love you, man. All right. See you, man. All right. Thanks, Juice. Thank Appreciate you. it, man. That was great.